when you're getting the component out of the machine, burr free, rag free, and you're not having to put your hands on it again other than give it a clean to get rid of the excess oil, it's fantastic to have the staff. Um, without the staff, I don't, wouldn't have the confidence that the parts would come off completely. Today we've got a fantastic looking part, Jordan, but on the outside it's so simple. Surely, surely this is just a normal part you can make on any kind of lathe. Yep, as you said from the outside it does look like a, a simple component, but unfortunately in this case it's not. Um, this component here is made from a special material called high mu 80. Um, to us, we had never heard of it at the time of coating, and um, when we went to our material suppliers we found out fairly quick it wasn't just a standard off-the-shelf material. So. This material itself is only available from one supplier in the UK and I believe that's for the full of Europe as well. So this material itself has got an 80% nickel content and as you can imagine, it's no great for machining. Um, so when we started the component, we were machining it on the lathes, bringing it through to the mills with some special fixturing and screws. Why are we using special fixturing? Is it because there's tight tolerances on the part? Yeah, or? so there's tight tolerances on these components, anywhere from sort of 5 to 10 microns to maybe pushing 50 microns on some of the outside sizes. But as I say, the tolerances on them are pretty crucial, so we were using dowel pins and various things to pull, and special screws to pull the job down to make sure we were holding it secure in the mills. Again, that causes quite a lot of problems, feeding it through, and you, you can imagine that these things all come with their problems. And is that quite an expensive part as well? So um, I yeah. guess you don't want to scrap it? Or? No, you definitely don't want to be scrapping these components. Um, that bit of material there itself and a bit of stainless would be sort of 10, 15 pence, depending on what type of stainless you're going for. And then the high mu, if you're scrapping one of these just for the material alone, it's about £4.50. Oh my God, yeah. £4.50 for that? Yeah. So you definitely don't want to be wasted, wasting time going from lathe to mill. No. You want to make sure you're making money on quite a hard part yeah. to make money on. Yeah, no, it definitely was. When we started um, putting it through the star and the lathes at the start, we found that with the stainless steel grade inserts we had for stainless and incos and other exotics, after about three, four components, we were starting to constantly adjust the offsets. Then when we got to about 10 or 12 components, that was the insert completely done. Because it's such a difficult to cut material. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's very chewy to a certain extent, and it's, it just doesn't want to chip at all. Even with the high pressure coolant, it doesn't want to chip great, but when we sort of tasked the tooling manufacturer to get us a better grade, we found one and we're now getting roughly about 50 out of it. Which is about 50 components, which it's obviously it's makes a, it a, a lot more economical to make. But yeah. moving on, so talking about you going from, from a lathe and a, and a VMC, yeah. to doing everything on a sliding head lathe. Yeah. What, what surprised you about what the sliding head lathe could do in, in one hit than yeah. compared to the lathe in the mill? Well, when we put it into the lathe, so obviously uh, the, the sliding head lathe, you've got 20 components, uh, sorry, 20 tools in this job. So it's not just a two or three tool job. 20 tools, so, so it's not just a, a, an OD, an no, ID and a, and a drill. No, there's special taps in here. There's special cutters in here for getting down in because it's such a small radius in the bottom, so the cutters aren't big. So but for them all bought in especially for this job, there's 20 tools in it. And when you're getting the component out of the machine, burr free, rag free, and you're not having to put your hands on it again other than give it a clean to get rid of the excess oil, it's fantastic to have the star. Um, without the star, I don't, wouldn't have the confidence that the parts would come off completely.